Hi, my name is Rachel Jepson. I'm a musician and I'm a counsellor. I developed um, a course in mental health awareness in the music industry, which was accredited by CPD. Um, I provide that frequently across the country, but obviously I can't at the moment because we've all been told that we must stay at home and that obviously keep safe. So I thought it'd be a good idea to sort of put some of the issues on these bite-sized videos um, to hopefully resonate with people um, in the industry and um, to help support them and also maybe um, allow other people to think about things that maybe hadn't crossed their mind before in relation to the music industry. So any creative professionals, anybody, um, and also maybe therapists as well. If you've got clients that may be um, in the creative industries, this could be helpful and interesting. Um, the issue that I'd like to talk about today is the issue of making it, making it. Um, because that's a, a sort of a broad term, isn't it? You know, what does making it mean for you? Making it could mean getting a massive record deal. And it also could mean making a living out of it. Um, and sometimes I find uh, with friends, even me, um, and also clients, that the making it changes with time. So perhaps when you just started out in the industry, no matter what your age is, um, your making it was... I want to play at um, massive venues. I want to be signed by Universal. Um, I want to support this band or I want to do this. And actually over time, you know, people may realise that those aren't the goals that they want. And actually with their experience, they don't want to be signed by a massive record deal. And that's not something that, you know, appeals to them anymore. Um and actually it is, it is making a living, making money out of it, you know, being able to pay your bills from music. But some people can feel like that change of goals is giving up dreams in some way. And I've had clients who find it really, really difficult to come to terms with the fact that things may have changed or they may not have made it to where they think they should have done. Um, you know, when they look back and they look at where they are now, they think, well, I should have made this by now, or I should have done this, or I should have reached this particular goal. And that can be really, really difficult. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that working in the music industry as a therapist, that is probably one of the biggest issues. Um, people coming to terms with where they are in their career um, and sort of how they're going to manage that, you know, what's going to be good enough for them. That actually it might not be about giving up your dreams, um, but that maybe your dreams have changed and that that's okay. And there's no shame in it. And that also maybe the dreams now are genuinely better for them um, and mean more as well. So that can be a really big deal for people. Um, also, there's an element of validation in making it, you know, that you need people to and tell you how good you are in order to give you a record deal if that's what you want or gigs you know so there needs to be an element of people going I really like your stuff um so there is that as well you know that kind of trying to constantly send stuff off um you know get in contact with people and there can be a why isn't this happening to me that can be a real real big thing um about making it um and there can be a, a definite sort of sense of self-worth tied into that you know that things perhaps haven't happened to you the way that you thought they should have done um there is also an element of making it meaning sort of sacrificing everything you know that you maybe don't have the social life that your friends do and you've had to make sacrifices around that or that you haven't you know met somebody a significant other because, you know, your music has meant everything, that you've had your day job and then you've had your evening job, which essentially is music, you know. So there's there's that as well. There's the amount of sacrifice that it takes and that can cause anxiety um, and, and can lead to depression as well. You know, if you're feeling really low about the fact that, you know, you look around and I've, I've spent, you know, the last 15 years doing music and stuff and it's just not kind of turned out the way I thought and... I don't have the people around me um, that I'd like. And I'm just sort of wondering about what's what's going on there. So I'm going to talk about some self-care tips in that. So within making it, obviously, as we discussed before, there is an element of validation um, and it can become everything that pursuing 
You know, why haven't I made it? Why isn't this happening to me? I think it'd be a really good idea if you're a solo musician to just really sit with that and write down exactly what it is that you want from your career and how to get there. Um, and maybe you, you find that actually what you did want isn't what you want anymore and that there are other things that you do want that can be attainable. Um, and also, if you are in a band, you will need to sit down together and discuss exactly what it is that you want, you know, what making it is to you. If you've got members of the band where they all want a record deal to EMI, but that you're happy actually just playing some really good gigs and possibly making some money out of it, then that's a really big issue because it possibly won't work well if everybody has different goals. So that needs to be discussed. Um, and again, that sort of issue of the validation and you know other people needing to like your stuff, it needs to be about something other than that. Um, and again, that needs to maybe be discussed or sat with. You know, writing stuff down could be really important, getting it in front of you so you can see exactly, you know, what's going on for you. Um, and that, you know, it doesn't matter if people like it. It matters if you like it. And if you like it, then you can live with that and you can decide what to do with your music and whether or not, you know, those goals are something that you want to pursue. I hope that you've learned something from this. And obviously, as I say, the CPD accredited course, um, I can't provide at the moment, but that is a full day and we can talk about stuff. We can debate things. There's usually some brilliant debates about stuff. Um, everybody comes from different places, different professions uh, within the industry. So it could be a really, really interesting experience. Um, my website is www.counsellingformusicians.co.uk. Thanks and take care. Bye.